Welcome, uh, um, Saifullah Khan. Um, we are uh, discussing uh, the new publication and we are launching it uh, now, the regulatory framework for agricultural data uh, in the Near East uh, North Africa uh, region. Uh, I'm having a um, discussion with the author of this uh, report and basically just to settle to the street scene why we commissioned uh, this uh, publication um, is um, that um, digital agriculture is an important driver uh, in the transformation of uh, agri-food uh, systems and within, within that uh, data is uh, playing a central role. Uh, and that's why it's necessary uh, to have appropriate regulatory frameworks uh, for that in place um, so that uh, to enhance the role of digital agriculture and the, the data um, enhancing uh, its role in the transformation of uh, agri-food uh, systems. Uh, in the region, in the Near, near East uh, North Africa uh, region. And that's why I asked uh, the author uh, to do a report uh, about the current uh, framework, whether there are existing framework or not in the region, and what uh, are maybe the existing uh, international best uh, practices. So Saifu, like if you uh, could kindly uh, present you know, the my main findings of this uh, report, what you have found as uh, challenges, and uh, we will discuss as well what are the policy uh, recommendations are, that are emanating from this uh, report and as well national, national pathways that you know, would, uh, how we could implement these, these findings. So thank you, thank you very much, Thomas. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, actually, uh, what we did is in this research study, we embarked upon a journey of uh, very insightful journey, to be very honest, of this ever involving, um, you know, the landscape of uh, data in agriculture and food security, which is evolving really, very fast, not in the NINA region, but uh, even globally. Uh, we all understand and we all know that uh, data uh, being the fourth factor of production now after land, labor and capital. It is really important and it is uh, of critical importance to have a proper comprehensive regulatory framework uh, for the governance of uh, agriculture data. And uh, you know the importance is um, felt when, when you see a lot of uh, innovation and technological development and once there is a development of uh, technology you need to have a better governance system. In order to have a governance system you need to have a regulation first in place for the policy makers to, to have a proper governance system in place. So the issues that we have highlighted in the research studies uh, includes uh, the ownership of data, who would be the owner of the data, the farmer, the technology provider or the end user, then how the value uh, of the data will be distributed uh, amongst the different stakeholders, then what would be the liability mechanism. Uh, these are some of the issues, uh, governance issues that we have highlighted in the research study. And we have come across different examples of uh, regulatory frameworks in place in the NINA region already. But unfortunately, they are not very robust. And uh, what we have observed that uh, they lack a governance framework. Even we have seen a lot of international, uh, you know, the frameworks on uh, agriculture data. And we have observed that there are even those international frameworks are deficient in certain uh, areas. So collectively, what actually is the recommendation or the major recommendation I would say in this research study is that if there is a harmonization of uh, regulations for agriculture data within the NINA region, that would be something really great uh, which, which NINA region uh, could achieve. And uh, in order to get that achievement, uh, I think there is a lot of consultation required in the NINA region. The policy makers, they have to sit together and they have to try to spend time in drafting of a policies which can work along in all the NINA regions together in a harmonized way. Thank you so much. I think that uh, gives an excellent uh, uh, overview of this uh, publication. Uh, maybe I would add as well uh, some other aspects, you know, on which we were uh, focusing uh, in this uh, publication, uh, which is that, uh, you know, when the value is created via the agricultural data that is coming from farmers, if that data is created, how it can be distributed, you know, in a fair, just manner, along the uh, value chain and especially uh, focusing on the interest of uh, smallholder farmers. So I think that is, that is another important finding uh, of the report as well, uh, besides of course uh, the need of harmonization 
uh, of regulatory frameworks uh, and to find out such uh, solutions that uh, in which really uh, data can be a driver of transformation and in which in the driver in this uh, uh, transformation the interest of so smallholder farmers are taken into account as well so yeah, yeah. Uh, I think uh, the publication is excellent uh, from you. this point of view Thank as you. well and if, and if you remember you know you, you, you have reviewed the publication as well the draft uh, the the bottom line or I would say the takeaway is the regulations should be uh, harmonized should be developed and created in a manner that they should not curtail the speed of innovation and at the same time uh, they should take care of the rights and obligations of the stakeholders so there should be a balance between the uh, development of the regulations keeping in view the uh, speed of uh, technology growing very fast Thank you so much uh, for this additional uh, explanation and then you can find the publication on the uh, FAO website yeah. of the regional office uh, yeah. for Near East and North Africa so it's um, exciting, uh, excellent reading so I would encourage you to, uh, to read it, uh, download it and thank you so thank much, you for, much. Thank you very uh, much. Thank you for the, the invitation. Report. Thank you thank so you. much.